Blast Tube friends. How are you? Thanks for coming back. Uh, if we haven't met yet, my name is Daylene and this is my channel where I talk about cross stitch and a little bit of quilting and crochet and crafts and my grandbabies and puppy <laughs> and uh, what I'm grateful for. So uh, thanks for joining me today. It is Friday, February 5th and um, I'm a little bit tired. We've been getting four or five hours sleep a night and sometimes getting up in the middle of the night with a puppy, like a little baby, I guess. <laughs> so I have a little bit of concealer under my eyes today. So anyway, let's get started. I'm glad to see you again. Ooh, I'm fine. Thanks for asking. Okay, that uh, quilt behind me is called a Love Notes quilt. It is by Jenny Doan, and it's a free pattern. And uh, that is the Missouri Star Quilt Company. And um, I made an extra block on the back because that was Mr. Wright's Valentine present, I think four or five years ago. And um, every day before he leaves for work, he uh, always leaves me a letter. He writes me a letter. And um, so in on the back, I made that block and then I made it into a pocket. So there's a couple of little love notes in there. So um, anyway, it, it's a good one. Makes me smile. I always always enjoy it. So, uh, let's see. What do you want to do? What do you want to talk about first? Ooh, let's make a craft right off the bat. Let's make a craft. Okay. First of all, you're going to need some, okay. It's called loop it yarn by red heart. I call it loopy yarn. I don't know why I call it loopy yarn, but it, let's just call it loopy yarn. But between you and I, we'll know it's called loop it yarn. So, you can get it wherever they sell uh, Red Heart yarn. Anyway, um, I bought a wire frame from the dollar store and it already had um, some of that red glitter. You can see it peeking through there um, around it. And it had a big arrow. I cut that off and our front door is black. So I'm always looking for a lighter colored or white or cream colored uh, wreath. So I just decided I'd use that loopy yarn, wrap it around, no glue gun, no wire, no nothing. I just wrapped it around, tied it off, and then I just tied a piece of ribbon that I had uh, onto it and then made the bow for it. So I think it was about, let's see, maybe six or seven dollars. And so then I have a Valentine wreath and that that's the whole craft. You don't need any directions. That's it. You just uh, wrap the yarn around it. And I, I noticed that some people, uh, when I saw these on Pinterest or the shabby tree, um, they'd cut the loops so it was not not loopy like this. It was just all fringed. But I like the loops. So anyway, happy Valentine's Day. I thought it would look great on the door. And you could probably make one in one dog nap. <laughs> That's what I measure everything in now. Can I get it done in one dog nap? <laughs> okay, so loop it yarn. I, I think I got I got this at um, Hobby Lobby or I, I think it was Hobby Lobby. So anyway, but anywhere you can find Red Heart yarn, that would work out great. Okay, so let's do some housekeeping. First of all, those Santa cone cross stitch things that I made uh, for Christmas time for Mr. Wright in his birthday. Uh, finally, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, one of the, our, our subscribers helped us all out and she found out that the name of the pattern came from the book 100 Weekend Cross Stitch Gifts by Barbara Finwall and Nancy Javier. Um, anyway, that's where the book came from. Sadly, my library is still closed, so I have no idea where, what, what's happening with that. But um, anyway, that is the name, and I put it on Instagram, and I will list it below. All you do is just click on that little button, and it says um, show more, and then it drops down, and then there's like show notes. So I'll put it in there, the name, so that in case you were looking for it, you can um, find it. And I believe they were asking for 14 count red Ada and I use 28 count linen so it, it, the math turns out the same but I, I just wanted the same size they, they give you the patterns for them in that book so anyway uh let's see Ooh, Cynthia Brew and her husband need our prayers and our good wishes and our good karma her and her husband both um sadly contracted uh coronavirus and they she was in the hospital for four or 
five days and came home with a little bit of oxygen. She had pneumonia. Um, but I saw she did a video and she seems to be doing a little bit better. She looks fabulous and um, did a little bit of a cough. But so I think a few more prayers, a few more uh, good karma uh, vibes to her direction might, might help. It won't hurt. So uh, zip on over to her Instagram or her YouTube video and uh, tell her you're wishing her well. So that's a good thing. Uh, let's see. Okay, you want to talk about some previous finishes? That'd be a good thing. Okay, this one, my first one to talk about is Love Never Fails. This is... Okay, let's turn this light off. Yeah, that might help better. Okay, uh, Love Never Fails by... Who is this? Not Forgotten Farm? Yep, Not Forgotten Farm. And I believe it was free... Uh, I changed the date and I added our anniversary date. And I think when I showed this before, I realized, I said, why is that E dropped down like that? And then I looked at the pattern and no, the E is not dropped down. I just did that. I don't know why. <laughs> and I'm not going to take it out of the frame. And no, but anyway. It's kind of a fun one. It hangs on the sampler wall, but um, Valentine's Day, I kind of bring it out and um, put it with some other um, red finishes or Valentine things. Uh, I have a tray that I have by that I usually keep by the front door. Um, I think this one came from uh, Pinterest, and I finished it with some black beads on the side. There's a little charm, heart charm on the back. I think it's just a brooch that I got out of my jewelry box. I think the pattern was just a freebie on Pinterest and I just use a little scrap piece of fabric and then the back is uh, like a dark red with um, black swirls on it so and uh, oh Kathy Haberman she did the the freebie heart love is kind I just finished it on the, the back with some let me get situated here some twall red and red twall um, Anyway, that's kind of fun. Kind of Valentine stuff going on. That's a good thing. That's a good thing. Um, ooh, oh, I can, let me talk about this one. This is a previous finish that I had, and it is Amazing Grace. And um, this one is by Brenda Riddle Designs. And she's usually a quilt designer, but she does have a couple of cross-stitch there you go, cross stitch patterns, and um, uh, this frame I found in, oh, you know, one of those TJ Maxx or Home Goods or I can't, I can't remember exactly Tuesday morning. Anyway, uh, it reminded me of the ends of the pews at the this little teeny uh, stone church in a uh, national. Refu wildlife refuge in Oklahoma near Fort Sill, Oklahoma. So I just, I knew that it would be perfect for this. So anyway, um, I love it. I keep it out. Now that we have a, a new puppy named Amazing Grace, <laughs> kind of takes on new meaning. She's amazing sometimes. Hmm. She gets a little bit of wild bugs in her sometimes. Okay, let's talk. Just you and me. Let's talk. If we were having, we'd have coffee. Oh, I have molasses cookies, but they're in the kitchen, so I forgot to bring them. My head's a little twirly. Um, I'm your girlfriend that has two, that's right, two white sofas, uh, cream-colored carpeting, a cream dog. I live in the Pacific Northwest, so it's been raining for three weeks since we brought Maisie home. And so that's a lot of mud. That's a lot, a lot of towels. But she has learned right away. She comes in the door and she sits down so that we can wipe off each paw. <laughs> it is a lot of mud, let me tell you. Anyway, anyway, okay, let's talk about some, ooh, let's talk about some fully finished projects. I have two, two framed projects. Okay, first of all, this one is called Sampler Hill. And it's by Brenda Gervais. All right, this one, um, yes, I did stitch the Z and the W, but they're in like a light pink. You can't really see it on camera very well. Um, one of my granddaughter's initials are ZW, so I'm hoping that uh, Miss Zoe will find this one and and uh, 
put her name on it and think that might be for her. So anyway, this particular piece I laced and then I bought this frame, ordered and bought this frame from Michael's. So I'm going to talk about that because if you were just sitting here and we were having coffee, I'm not criticizing. I'm not judging. I just want to talk about the frames and how much money they cost. Um, one of my new year's resolutions is to take a piece at least one a month and have them have it framed instead of being in a box where we can't see it. Um, some of the pieces I don't mind making into pillows, but there are a couple bigger pieces that I'd like to have framed. So um, anyway, that's my, that's my goal this year. One of my goals. So here is the other one I had framed. Savior's Praise. And here's a look at the frame up close. It's a beautiful carved piece. A little ridge around there okay so this one i personalized it a lot my name my birthday i put um this says bellingham washington that's the state or the city that i was born in uh, my husband's birthday grandkids initials all the initials are around there so everywhere you look in this piece i kind of slipped in um some family um initials or names or dates or what have you and and i'll note them all on the back i'll put a little pocket on the back with all the little goodies that i added in so uh anyway it, this was a beautiful piece uh kitten stitcher shakespeare's peddler she designed this and it was a pleasure to stitch i love the border i i love everything about the border the ship is the reason i first caught my eye to begin with um can you see the ship? There you go. You can see the ship a little bit better. Uh, it's it's just a beautiful, beautiful piece. It was fun. There was something different to stitch all the time. You can tell it was designed by a cross stitcher because there's a lot of places where if you are one stitch off, it's okay. Give yourself a little grace. Keep moving. Keep going forward. That's all. Keep moving forward. That's the name of that game. So, um, okay. So let's talk about this. If if you were sitting at my house, we'd fill up the coffee cups again and we'd have a talk. Okay. So this particular pattern or uh, frame I bought at PictureFrame.com. They are they're not sponsoring this. I didn't get any money. I paid I paid the money. I just wanted to talk about the prices. I'm not, I'm not opposed to spending a lot of money on frames. Um, I put, I get money in a, a budget envelope every month for crafts. I, I keep that going. So if I can't, if I don't have enough money this month, I just roll it over to next month and then I, I buy the frame next month. So, um, anyway, $10 of this was, uh, shipping and they did a fabulous job. Okay. So it came in this huge humongous box and it was it had the foam it had that plastic wrap every corner had a little uh triangle thing to make protect each of the corners it came in impeccable shape perfect not a scratch not a dent uh i ordered it and 14 days later it was at my house so this is a piece that i laced and then um oh and i left it open so you could see it i didn't cut any of the fabric i laced the back there are a couple pins on it too. When I first start, I use uh, pins on this one. Okay, so uh, once this video is over, then I will take actually probably the paper that they finally wrapped it in. Just it's just like uh, wrapping paper. If I if I if they had not given me any of this paper, I would just get some uh, wrapping paper from the dollar store. Is fine. But um, anyway, okay. So I just take that. And I'll run a bead of glue. Uh, oh, we'll cut it to the exact size of the, the back. Run a bead of that Eileen's craft glue on the back. Put my paper down. And then I will spray it lightly with water or I get my hand wet and I wipe the paper with my hand. And then tomorrow morning when you look at it, the paper will have shrunk just a little bit. And then it gets it that drum tight uh, really nice. Then I can put the wire or have Mr. Wright put the wire across it or what have you. Um, anyway, okay, so this one came to $60.64 and $10 of that was shipping. 100% pleased. I'm really happy with it. They had several to choose from. Pictureframes.com. I'll, I'll list it below. Um, I'd never ordered from them before, so I would have to say two thumbs up. 
I'm really pleased. And yes, I definitely would order from them again. Okay, so remember how big this is. Okay, so this one is much smaller. And this is the one that I ordered from Michael's. Okay, so this one took 17 days. Uh, it came damaged, so they had to reorder it, which they did. They reordered it and got it lickety split. So, um, and this one came to $102.89. So, uh, they have a frame that's similar to this. Uh, that I chose in the picture frame. You can let's see if we can get this closer so you can see it um, in the the one online. So I think I'm going to try that next time and see. But again, I laced this piece and then I just got the frame and then dropped it in, um, put the paper on the back and the hanger. Um, I 102.89. Okay, so we have the 64 and the 102. So you know, there's a little bit of a discrepancy and for the Michaels, I had to use a coupon and all that stuff. Uh, I think that there's a time and a place and, and not everything that I stitch do I want to, um, you know, have professionally framed or I, I don't mind framing my things. I don't mind having them laced for them. So it's just like dropping a picture in for them. They don't do any of that needlework part. So um, anyway, I, I'm not judging. I'm not. I'm just. I'm just letting you know how much it cost and what the difference was for me. So, mm, I think there's going to be more times than not that I'm going to go towards the pictureframe.com, and I can get. I think getting a few more things finished and on the wall will make me a lot happier than in the box and you know. So, anyway, if you have any questions about it, I'll let you know. I mean, I measured everything two or three times, and I had Mr. Wright measure it. So. I was a little bit nervous about that. I wanted to make sure I did a good job measuring, but um, it, it fit beautifully and it, it just dropped right into it. So that made me really happy. So, okay. Um, ooh, let's talk about a floss tube maker. Okay, actually it's two. Um, and they have a split screen. They live in two different cities, two different states. Um, and it's called Floss Toss. And it's Sue and Rachel. And, oh, you're going to love them. They really do a lot of beautiful stitching. But the part I love about them, and I mean love, underline, big letters, love, is that they're friends. And the way they speak to each other is so kind and uplifting. If one is not quite sure of a color, or I don't know if I like this, or should I, should I rip these stitches out, or it doesn't matter every word that comes out of their mouth for each other is so kind and loving and um, they laugh together. It makes you, it makes you feel like you're like a little mouse in the corner and you get to hear their uh, conversation. And um, I don't know, pour yourself a cup of hot cocoa or coffee and sit down and, and everything else kind of melts away and you just get to listen to them. Uh, one of them is a beautiful yarn dyer. Um, one has an Etsy shop. She sells a few things. They both are beautiful knitters. Really beautiful. I, I meant to tell you about it last time and I kind of forgot about it. But um, I've seen a couple of their videos since. And um, I really, really enjoy my time that I spend with them. So I, I think you'll like it. I, I think with so much stuff noise going on in the world that's not kind and not considerate and not compassionate to turn on a video and to get to see them um, treating each other the way we should be treating everybody there's just really really great people and um, it just slips through the computer screen and it just kind of washes over you you just get splashed with goodness so you'll enjoy your time there tell them i said hi so that'll be good um, okay, let's do a giveaway. Let's do the giveaway. Okay, last time, oh, I have it in a bag right here. Last time, uh, we had that Brenda Gervais Santa, Letters for Santa, and I used the random uh, comment generator. Where's my pattern? Here we go. The um, Brenda Gervais, we know this one, um, Letters to Santa, and I used the comment generator, and the person that won is Chris. Bishop, C-H-R-I-S, Chris Bishop. So congratulations, Chris. And if you get a minute, uh, could you leave me your address uh, and my hotmail, my email, and I'll put it below, but it's Miss Daylene at hotmail.com. So 
Congratulations. That's a good one. And while we're in the middle of giveaways or drawings, let's do two more. That darn old uh, groundhog. I love that guy. Uh, he said we're going to have six more weeks of winter, but I say, ooh, let's start stitching spring right now. We need a little spring, a little happiness, that's for sure. Okay, so both of these patterns were donated by Carla from Cobweb Corner. So thank you very much, Carla. That was, you're really, really a generous, kind, um, really great person. I love watching your floss tube videos. I, I think everybody does. You just have lots of things to share and what we can what's new what you have on what you have on hand okay uh first of all we have silver creek samplers no winter lasts forever no spring skips its turn okay we love this one look at that gray background with those snowflakes Ooh, they just like you could just see them it just looks chilly doesn't it but then you have the little crocus at the bottom oh my gosh we could do it yellow purple i think it's like a a creamy rosy color Ooh, you know what to, uh, my daffodils are up about about four and a half inches every year when i where we live no matter where we live we plant 50 daffodil bulbs in october you know in september october so this is our fifth year here so come you know another couple months we'll have maybe two 200 300 daffodils blooming so i i plant them in all the flower beds around the yard and um in the backyard mainly and then um it's really fun it's it's beautiful to see so many you're so happy to do it so anyway maybe i could plant crocuses one year that'd be kind of a fun little patch to uh to see but anyway okay so if you want to win this pattern no winter lasts forever. No spring skips its turn. Ooh, it's kind of poignant for our life right now, isn't it? Okay, what year did Carla start her online business? So go to Cobweb Corner and then look it up. Try to swirl around, see what she's got for sale, and then uh, find the answer. And then just write me a, a little message. Leave me a message that says the, the date, and I'll put your name in for the drawing. Okay, so the other one is, oh, Spring Delivery, Brenda Gervais. Okay, we love this one. Look at that. That bunny rabbit with that big basket on top. Ooh, and the beautiful silk ribbon trailing out, off of his neck or her neck. Ooh, and those tulips. I love this. Ooh, and I love the border. It's just, ooh, it kind of defines it, but it's not all the way around even. I love that. That's beautiful. Those tulips are so jaunty. That's kind of cute. That's good. I like that one. Okay, uh, here's the question. If you're interested in the drawing for Spring Delivery by Brenda Gervais, how much do new customers save on their very first order at Cobweb Corner? So there's your question. All you got to do is leave a comment with the answer, and I will put you in for the drawing, I promise, and I will mail it off to you. And hopefully I won't kind of go as long as I did before because that's kind of it's kind of long I know sorry about that oh oh you know what I got this from Carla's website too she has more of these the winds of autumn blackbird designs Ooh, there's a couple things in here that are just calling my name oh I'm gonna make this one for the the other little sewing bag for my other little granddaughter I already have the I got the threads I'm just waiting on the fabric so there's some really beautiful patterns in there. If you don't have that one, I definitely I would go over there. Ooh, look at this. Look at this before I put away my bag. Ooh, crocheting a baby blanket. My girlfriend's going to have her first grandbaby. And uh, he is due in May, I think. Ooh, it could be maybe it'd be on my birthday. Ooh, that would be so cool. <laughs> anyway, this is called the Drunken Granny Pattern. And it's by, it's a free pattern by Krista at uh, The Secret Yarnery. And she's originally from Montreal, Canada, or British Columbia. I think she lived in both. But I think she lives in South Africa now. I think it's South Africa. Anyway, she's a great gal. Uh, she's just got this infectious, happy smile and upbeat giggle and laugh. And kids are always around her. And she's got this great room where she keeps all her yarn. And uh, just so uplifting. And she does... 
uh, crochet tutorials on YouTube and both left-handed tutorial, then she'll do a right-handed tutorial. So super easy. You pick what works for you. And this pattern goes really fast. And especially if you're really tired and you're kind of sleepy and your eyes aren't really focused well for cross-stitching, you can crochet. That's a, kind of a good idea. <laughs> That's a good idea. Okay, so here's my next work in progress. Hold on here. Okay, this one is called uh, JBW Designs, and this is the Red Rooster Sampler. This is the one I'm working on. That's what it's going to look like. I love this thread. Oh, it's so, it's just, it's variegated enough that you, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but uh, this is called, it's the Gentle Art. Uh, sampler threads Buckeye Scarlet. Oh, I love this one. It's just so I don't know ruby slipper looking. I don't oh don't, don't say that because there's another color that color, but Buckeye Scarlet. I love it. Kind of, don't y'all love <laughs> Buckeye Stitcher, <laughs> Nicole? I know it reminds me of her. I, I isn't she the best? She's smart. She's witty. She's fun. I love that she talks fast. I, I love that. It's like my wheelhouse. I love that she talks fast. <laughs> and she loves animals, so I love that. And anyway, go say hi to Nicole. We love her. I know. I, this is a good one because for me, uh, you know, with a new puppy, sometimes I only have a small amount of time just to sit down and you can do just one little motif. Um, it has some buttons on it that's going to be cute to finish that. I don't know. This is this is really charming. It's going to look really lovely on the uh, sampler wall, but not very often do I do them that are monochromatic with just one thread. So it's very nice. You don't really have to think about it. You don't have to look at the pattern for a different color. You just can stitch. So uh, I try to have two or three needles threaded and ready to go, and then it's just something I can pick up and do really quick. So that is a pleasure to stitch. Definitely. Definitely. Okay. So here's the one that I've really mainly been working on and it is called Pet All the Dogs. This is a Teresa Kogut uh, design and uh, I really have enjoyed it. Um, I think she calls for 35 count and I can't, I don't know if I didn't find it or I couldn't find it or, but this is 32. So I'm, I'm just, I'm using 32 count and, um, Okay, so here's the thing with this. I, I mean, the house is huge. Look, here's here's my hand, and the house is enormous. I mean, that is a huge, huge house, but it's, I mean, it's beautiful, beautiful. Okay, so this particular piece, I'm using it to uh, personalize for our family. So at the top up here, along the border in each of the, the top pieces, let's see if we can get it close enough. You can see that I've written, or not written, stitched, some names. So let me read you the names. Duffy, Taffy, Snooky, Nipsey, Tony, Blackie, and Daisy. And these are all the names of the dogs that Mr. Wright and I had growing up. So it was kind of a way to, you know, kind of commemorate and remember them. Um, make it into a remembrance sampler. I, I love that idea. Okay, so then down below, right here, we have Quincy, Libby, and Maisie. So these are the dogs that we've had since we've been married uh, together. So uh, this one's name is Wilson's Lord Quincy Peabody. This is Sweet Liberty Wilson. And this is Amazing Grace. So I will note all their names and their dates on the back of the sampler when it's all done, you know, on the make, make a little card or put it in a pocket and um, so we can, you know, have their names. But on here, I just thought it was kind of fun to um, just put the names that we called them all the time. And um, I put the date on it. You can change the colors of the dogs so they kind of uh, depict the colors of your dogs. And I, I love the idea. Oh, and don't don't forget part of this pattern she did an extra page and it is called hug all the cats and then there's different kitty cats that she has charted on it so either way if you're a dog lover or cat lover or both maybe you want to put some of both on there um this is the pattern for you so i've got a couple more trees to go and a couple more motifs 
and uh, it it I didn't think I was gonna stick with it. I thought I'd swap swap it out for something else, but these colors it's a beautiful sample this red and green um teresa did a really beautiful job designing it so it makes me happy to work on it and uh oh those windows oh the window panes i try to have one i put one thread in each time that i pick this up because the the color of the window pane is almost the color of the fabric so you can't really see it that much but um anyway so yeah, it's a it's beautiful. It's really fun too. It's a it's a fun one, and um, I'm really glad that we that I put in the names of all of our our dogs growing up. And okay, you want to know a story about Duffy? <laughs> okay, Duffy was my first dog when I was a little girl. I was um, they had Duffy before they had me. Okay, so um, they big huge black dog, and my sister used to right on his back when she was a little girl and yeah big dog and um it's just as nice as could be so well mannered uh he used to ride in the police car with my dad when um when he was little okay so he was really really getting sick and they had to take him to the vet and my dad and mom were just crushed my mother was heart sick my dad was upset this was his buddy and um the vet said i i don't know i don't we can't find anything wrong with him he just he keeps crying there's there's not no pain we can't touch him anywhere where there's pain we don't know why he's crying he's so upset he's kind of acting like he's hungry and they said we feed him every day what well maybe he's I don't know. I don't know why he doesn't like it or maybe it's giving him a tummy ache or I, I'm not sure what it is. So how about if you go home and you feed him a couple days of the food you've been feeding him and maybe we can change to something else. But then when you put the food down, just kind of peek around the corner and watch him to make sure he's eating it or likes it or I, I don't know what. I'm so sorry. There's nothing we can do. I don't know what the problem is. Okay, so the first day they put the food down and Duffy went over there and ate the whole bowl. Was super happy, got a drink of water, was just wagging his tail, so happy. And they were like, okay, and wasn't crying as much. The next day they put the bowl down and then, I don't know, something happened. They walked away and they didn't, okay, we forgot to watch. Whatever. Okay, day three or four, they were like, oh yeah, we're supposed to watch the dog. Okay, so they go over there and there was no, the dog was sitting there looking at the bowl. I was eating all the dog food. <laughs> So for two weeks, I ate a bowl of dog food every night, and the dog didn't get any food, so he was hungry. <laughs> so, okay, dog food, there you go. That's my dog food story about Tuffy. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, let's see. Oh, I got some gifts. Hey, I want to say thank you so much for all the Christmas cards. That was so nice of you. Um, in our family, after Christmas, we take them all the Christmas cards down. Our personal ones, and I took the Flossy ones, uh, my friends, the Stitchy friends cards down. And I put them all in a really beautiful basket. And I put it on the table. So then every night at dinner, we pull four cards. Well, when our kids lived here, they, we each got to pull a card. So now we still just keep, we pull four. And uh, we pray over that, that fit person or their family. And we talk about them, and when our kids were little, we would say, oh, this is your second cousin, or they live in Vermont, or they live in uh, Washington, or, you, you know, we would explain it more to them. And so now that I have all these stitchy friends and floss tube friends, uh, I explained, when I pulled those cards, I explained to Mr. Wright who the person was. Oh, this is my friend Christy, and she lives in Utah, or this is my friend Valerie, and she lives in Pennsylvania. So it was, it was really fun to uh, talk about you and pray over you. And thank you for the, the, the folks that slipped in a beautiful piece of floss or a charm. Um, but most importantly, I loved all the con kind comments and the kindness. And it was fun to read them out loud at the dinner table. And um, I really appreciate it. And then on January 25th, I take all the cards and then I use a punch and or just scissors and I make tags, Christmas tags for next year out of some of the cards and the card fronts and things so that I can uh, reuse them and enjoy them twice. And so then I just pack them away with the uh, Christmas wrapping paper and I get to use them again. So thank you so much. Uh, it means the world to me. The, the kind sentiments 
it really lifted my spirits and um, it made me smile. It was great. So it was really fun to get them. Then it was extra fun to read them at the dinner table and talk about you and uh, all the good things that, about you. And then it was fun for the third time to um, make them into Christmas tags. So hopefully I won't lose my mind and next year I'll remember the cards and the people again. So anyway, I really enjoyed it. So thanks. Okay. And I got a couple of um, really fun, generous gifts. Oh, look at that one. My friend Barbara. Man. Oh, I didn't. I didn't ask her if I could say that, but I, I tell you, this community, people are so talented. It's just, it's just so fun. It's so nice. Um, I wanted to show a couple of things. I forgot to ask permission to, if I could use their name, so I'm not going to say a name, but um, I, I wanted to show you this. Look what I got. Look at this. You know who you are. Um, a person that watches my floss tube video, she cross-stitched this. For me. For me, because, look, that's my name, and it's spelled correctly. I never was a girl that had the little license plate on my bicycle that said Daylene spelled correctly. <laughs> so that's pretty neat for me. Oh, and then also look at the little the little chicken and the egg basket. They're over one. One, over, one thread over one. Oh, my God. I just, it's just so nice, and I, I kind of want to put it on the top of my really special seed box for all my, I, I have almost all my seeds for this year's garden, so that makes me super happy. So, anyway, thank you so much for the time and energy, and I appreciate it. I appreciate the generosity. Um, I appreciate the postage. This came from Canada. It was like $12 to mail this. Mail this piece of Good gravy, that's a lot of money. Anyway, mwah, thank you so much. I really, really appreciate it. I, I can't imagine making something that big and beautiful and then mailing it off to somebody. That That is so kind and so nice. Um, I got this project bag from my friend Angel. Look at that button. It's kind of carved and oh, she does impeccable work. Just beautiful. The lining inside. She is an amazing gal. She has a, a shop. Uh, it's called The Elegant Thread. She, the, she's also on Floss Tube, and it's called the same thing, The Elegant Thread. It is, her name is Apropos. It's perfect. It's perfect for her. Uh, elegant is the perfect, perfect word. Okay, so she, um, she sells these uh, project bags and the little Notions tote, which is just all the little details are so beautiful look there's her little teeny teeny the elegant thread everything is marked so beautifully um oh and then she has a little a little card a little postcard and it tells all the different social medias she's on but here's the part that's so lovely she's starting to design rhapsody in blue Look at that. It's just a beautiful, really big. I mean, you can see the pattern so easily. That's really nice. And um, really beautiful. I did see on Instagram that she has, I think, another little pillow one that she just, and I just said, ooh, the elegant thread. Everything that she just seems to touch is elegant. Um, look, the card she sent me. That's a picture of a cross stitch that she did her her little tags on the back she sent me a recipe for carrot cake and tofu frosting i can hardly wait oh the recipe alone made me make can you make your mouth water like you really wanted a piece one of those things where i think you want to go to a restaurant and like order a piece of dessert and then share it with a girlfriend and then you're like oh i wish i would have gotten two pieces you know i mean you kind of feel like it's that good anyway um she made me a needle minder cowgirl boot that's kind of cool kind of cool I love that and inside this um, little uh, accoutrement bag there's a pair of scissors with a little scissor fob that matches the bag with the blue and the red and there's a little bumblebee on the it's gonna turn backwards like a Christmas ornament but <laughs> it always turn backwards um, 
it's just so everything about it is so elegant and I, I love it oh and you know here's the thing everyone thinks this is just for pretty it's not it's supposed to be heavy so that if you drop these scissors this drops first not the point of the scissors you don't want that point of that scissors to get broken on tile or cement outside on your patio this is supposed to drop first so it's heavier so that the scissors drop this way not point down so anyway. i don't know i i think you'll love her she's she's really intelligent um she oh she's retired military she oh she likes to ride a bicycle like me that's good uh she wanted she trained to become a chef she's a plant-based chef she that's great um her cross stitching is stunning those those samplers are so beautiful and i think she's teaching or did before she moved was teaching some classes she has that great personality of being a really good teacher that she would you know kind of slow down and talk really clearly so you could really understand what she was saying so anyway if you get a chance pour yourself a cup of really great coffee or hot cocoa and head over to the elegant thread and gosh thanks thank you so much angel it a really generous talented talented um stitcher in our community pretty lucky and this is beautiful uh, she really has uh, just an eye for color. I think you'll, I think you'll enjoy looking at her things. It's just really calming and I don't know, one of the good ones, one of the good ones. So thanks Angel. Mwah. I really appreciate it. Okay. So let's see. I, I just feel so kind of discombobulated, <laughs> like four or five hours of sleep a night. <laughs> okay. So let me tell you what I'm grateful for. What am I grateful for? I'm grateful for a new puppy. I am very lucky. That's a good thing. And I'm grateful for my daffodil bulbs that all poked up uh, about four, four and a half inches. So that gives me hope. We all need a little bit of hope. Uh, what else am I grateful for? Oh, I'm grateful for this. Puzzle Presto. Okay, so we love to do jigsaw puzzles. We did, uh, I don't know, four or five, maybe six this winter, or, you know, over the holidays. We we really enjoy it. And, um, okay, so you just take this, these come, just this package. I think I got it on Amazon. If I did, I'll link it below. Okay, so you just take these sheets. Uh, you flip your, once your puzzle's together, you just flip it over. You know, use a cookie sheet. Just flip it over. And then you put these stickers on the back, and it glues it all together, and then it comes with a little hook. So you can... You know, hanging up. I think we did one that was a really beautiful old fashioned map. And um, it would be really fun to hang in the garage or laundry room or guest room or something. So, yeah, I, I love this. I, you know, I used to mod podge it all together when we were first married and we had puzzles on the wall because we had nothing else on the wall. So, um, but it's really fun. And it was, I don't think it was that much money. I can't quite remember, but that's a good one. I'm pretty grateful for that. Okay. Um, let me see. Ooh, I have two more things I'm grateful for. Okay. Okay. New puppy. If you, new puppy or animal of any kind, you know, those, um, pretend they're not a real chamois, you know, that would be really expensive, but you know, the pink or purple ones you get a, a box store, Walmart or Lowe's or uh, probably Amazon or something, but anyway, a chamois. Okay. So instead of using a roll after roll of paper towels, when there's a little teeny accident which happens now and then with the puppy we're doing much better but you know use the chamois and stand on it with you know with your sneaker or what have you it soaks up all of the liquid out of the carpet and then just keep using the chamois till there's you know you don't have any more liquid and then you can just spray it with some carpet cleaner so you don't have any smell or anything i'm so impressed i don't I've, this is my third dog. I don't know why I never knew this before, but anyway, okay. I'm very grateful for a chamois to clean up little accidents here and there. So, yay. <laughs> All right. And you know, I, if you've watched me, you know, I love wax orchards. Oh, fudge. This fudge sauce. <laughs> okay. I, okay. I'm sorry. I know it's, okay. This is so, oh, Okay, it's like, I can feel it. <laughs> okay, you don't have to put this on anything. You can just steal a spoonful out of the fridge, okay? It's made with fruit. 
fruit juice, and fruit. That's it. There's no sugar. It's so good. The smell is so good. So if you're okay with toasting a little piece of pound cake on your grill or angel food cake or on your ice cream or just a spoon, just a spoonful. I'm not a big chocolate fan, but I mean, I'd rather, I'd rather pick coconut or caramel first and then chocolate, but I gotta tell you, a spoonful of this once in a while. <laughs> you know, when you only have like four hours sleep and you're kind of tired and I don't know, a treat sounds really good. So, uh, pineapple concentrate, pear concentrate, cocoa powder, and vanilla. That's it. That's all that's in here. Wax Orchard is a company that um, is from my state, Washington. So, uh, they're online. They didn't pay me to say that, but man, if you guys are listening, I will totally be your spokesperson. <laughs> anyway, thanks a lot for watching. I hope I come back a little quicker next time uh, in between uh, videos, but um, I tried to do it today with the puppy and the napping and it didn't quite work. So um, the second Mr. Wright got here, my dinner table's already set and he said, oh no, I'll go take her for a walk and we'll play and you do your video. So that's how it worked out. So anyway, I hope you're all doing really well. I hope you're vital and healthy and you're taking your selenium and your vitamin D and your zinc and you're keeping your immune system strong we need to be really strong vital people and um just keep keep each other in your prayers and your thoughts um this is a great community it's i'm it, i'm really proud to be part of a community that takes care of one another and lifts each other up remembers each other in prayers and good karma and send cards and good wishes to each other so uh thanks so much thanks for taking care of me thanks for lifting my spirits i really appreciate it and um you know i'll i'll see you next time we'll chat soon Bye bye Mwah.